Having now used both the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra and the Galaxy Book 3 Pro, specifically the 14 inch variant of the Book 3 Pro, people have asked me, is it better to go all out for the Ultra or will the Pro be more than enough? And to be honest, the simple answer is it depends on what you plan to use it for. And I know that sounds like a cop out answer, but I'm gonna try in this video to go through a general comparison between the two to better help you know the right one for you and what each laptop is better suited for. For the record, you almost can't go wrong which one you go for as both laptops on the premium end and do share a lot of similarities which you will come to see as we go through the motion. But before we do that, a quick word from the sponsor of a portion of today's video, UPDF, which is your one-stop solution for all your PDF needs. UPDF is an all-in-one PDF management solution application that works across all major platforms from Windows, macOS, iOS, and Android, allowing you to view, open, and read PDF documents having full editing control of PDF documents by editing text, images, links, backgrounds, annotating PDFs with comments, highlighting, and sticky notes, plus the ability to convert PDF documents to other formats, and with the built-in OCR tech, which helps you recognize text in scanned PDF documents. Want the ability to sign it important documents with your saved signature? Fill out forms with ease. Combine PDF files into one document, encrypt PDF documents with a set password, manage the physical size of PDF documents, and even share PDFs directly via link or email. Then look no further than UPDF with your PDF management needs. With your paid license of UPDF, you even get the option of up to 10 gigabytes of cloud storage. Check the link in the description below for full details of how you can start using UPDF across all major platforms. And thank you to UPDF for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Okay, let's start from the outside and work our way in firstly with the design and the build quality and comparing the two, firstly with the colors, the Galaxy Book 3 Pro actually comes in a beige or the graphite color, whereas the Ultra only comes in a graphite color. The graphite color is clean, but does visually show fingerprints a little bit more compared to the beige color. So personally, I actually do prefer the beige color. Next is the overall construction and build quality. Both are actually using a unibody metal construction. So the build quality actually feels very similar. The 16 inch does feel a little bit more rigid because obviously it's a bigger frame, slightly bigger in thickness as well. So it does feel a little bit more sturdy, whereas obviously the 14 inch is slightly lighter. And overall, even a 16 inch version, based on the components that are inside, is gonna be overall slightly lighter than the Ultra. So you have to consider that when you're looking at the build and design. But in terms of the principal look of it, they are both very similar in terms of the build quality and visual looks. You do get more color options on the Book 3 Pro if that is something that matters to you. Next is the ports arrangement and here's where you start to see the similarities. Both have pretty much the same arrangements. On the left side, you've got a full size HDMI output with two Thunderbolt 4 ports in the size of USB-C. And on the right side, you've got one USB-A port at 3.2 speeds, a 3.5 millimeter headphone port, and a micro SD card slot. So in terms of ports arrangement, you've got the same benefits and limitations, i.e. not having a full size SD card slot. So you do have to use an adapter if that's something you're gonna be using for transfer. But overall, the ports arrangement are pretty much the same. Let's move over to the keyboard and trackpad, and here's where you start to see the differences again. The Book 3 Ultra, as it only comes in a 16 inch size, does come with a full size keyboard with a number pad. And also the trackpad is a lot bigger. Compared to what you've seen in the 14 inch version, you do have a standard keyboard size, but one thing I do prefer about it is the fact that the keyboard is centered with the trackpad in proportion to the look of the 14 inch. Whereas on the 16 inch, the trackpad, as big as it is, is actually slightly off center to the left. So this is probably to balance the proportion of the number pad, but I don't really like it. It's very, very hard to get used to. And I actually do find, although the keyboard and travel is near enough the same in terms of feel, the keyboard and typing experience is actually a lot better on the 14 inch because it is centered as well as the trackpad experience. But overall, in terms of the quality of the keyboard and the trackpad, very similar. They're using a clipboard mechanism and not haptic feedback one. And the tracking is pretty much the same 
with the use of Windows Precision drivers. So yeah, when it comes to the keyboard experience, I actually prefer the 14 inch on this one. Back to similarities, the display. And Samsung this year really went all out when it came to their Book 3 Pro and Ultra devices because they really stepped up the AMOLED display technology on here. First of all, we've upgraded. No longer are we using AMOLED displays with 1080p and 60 hertz. Both of them have the exact same specs. A 3K resolution at 2880 by 1800 and a high refresh rate at 120 hertz. And you've got higher maximum brightness, not just for HDR, but standard viewing around 500 and HDR close to 800 nits. So the display experience is actually equal on both. And on the 14 inch, because of that, the pixels per inch is much more dense and sharper. But overall, the display experience is no compromise on both. So even if you go for the 14 inch, yeah, you'll still get the same great 3K, high resolution, high refresh rate panel. The biggest difference you're gonna notice here is the performance. And if we start with the Ultra, this is Ultra by name, but also Ultra by nature, because you've got full access to the Intel 13th gen Heat series, which is a higher wattage for not just the i7, but also the i9. And depending on your region, you can get up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is non-upgradable. Whereas in the UK is 16 gigs of RAM, but my spec here is 32 gigs. And you get a dedicated graphics with the RTX 40 series with either the 4050 or the RTX 4070 for the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. And when we look at the Galaxy Book 3 Pro, this is based on the Intel 13th generation P series for the i7 as well as the i5 and is 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM. And in terms of storage, both of them can go up to 512 or 1 terabyte for the 16 inch variant of the Book 3 Pro, but 512 for the 14 inch and up to 1 terabyte here as well. You can actually put an extra SSD on the Ultra, but I'm not entirely too sure of the Book 3 Pro. So I will investigate and I will have it updated in the description below or as a pinned comment. But performance wise, you don't get a dedicated GPU when it comes to the Book 3 Pro. It's actually using the Intel XE graphics that is integrated into the 13th gen CPU. So here's where the performance really starts to spread its wings. Performance is heavily favored here because it's higher wattage, 100 watts in total compared to 65 watts. So outright performance, this is where if you really value that, yeah, the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra is the one to go for. Software experience is pretty much the same on both with both running Windows 11 and with Samsung's additional touches with features like multi-control, which I've talked about how it's so good with being able to control your Galaxy device from your laptop to your phone with the keyboard and also mouse and the convenience of how well it works once you have it set up through the Samsung settings with the same Galaxy account, as well as obviously built in Windows 11 features like Snap Layout. The software experience is one part that is equally as good on both. So no changes here, a very similar experience. In terms of the battery capacity, on the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra, you do have a 76 watt hour battery compared to the 14 inch on the Book 3 Pro, which is 63 watt hours. So the battery life will slightly be better on the Ultra, but it's actually closer than you think when it comes to things like general use, which is on or around six to eight hours on both. And obviously with this being more intensive, if you're gaming unplugged in this, expect about an hour to an hour and a half, but obviously when you're gaming, you do want to be plugged in. And because this doesn't have a dedicated graphics, if you're going to be gaming, you're going to have to use streaming services like Xbox Cloud Gaming with Game Pass Ultimate or something like that. But yeah, those are the battery life differences. It will be heavily favored if you go for the 16 inch variant of both devices, including the Pro. But yeah, the bigger battery cell and with the management of software and the overall experience is going to be slightly better on the Book 3 Ultra. Now that we've gone through a general comparison of both the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra and the Book 3 Pro, who are these laptops for and what are they best at? I actually personally think if you're doing a lot of photo work in Lightroom 
or Photoshop, the Galaxy Book 3 Pro is more than enough so long as you spec it right, you've got the right ports and having the same 3K high resolution, high refresh rate AMOLED display experience with the color accuracy and vibrancy. Yeah, I think the Galaxy Book 3 Pro is more than enough. But then the Book 3 Ultra, if you want the big boy with a large canvas and you are mainly into video editing, and I'm talking about high intense 4K video editing, especially with the dedicated GPU and you want dedicated gaming on the side as well, then yeah, the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra is definitely the way to go. But for general computing, such as word processing, I would actually say the Book 3 Pro at the 14 inch size with the better keyboard experience and the center trackpad will actually do a better job. And of course, it's a lot more portable as well. So if you fall into any of these camps, that's the reason to go for either the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra or the Book 3 Pro. Do you have any of these laptops? What's your experience? Or are you even considering getting them? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. That's it for me, Ben from Lover of Tech. If you enjoyed this video, you know exactly what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS, the Tech Lover Squad, so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. I hope you're all safe during this time. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.